Here we are at the Madrona Passive House and we're getting into finishes including the finished mechanical systems. So what we're looking at here is a, uh, it's a pretty exciting system. It's a CO2 fired heat pump. So uh, it's standard heat pump technology in many levels where there is an outdoor unit, we'll take a shot of it in a second, that's a compressor. That is what generates, that, that does the transfer of energy. So we're taking energy out of the air and we're putting it into water with the outdoor unit. And then the water is actually running through these lines here, going in and out of the building. So coming uh, from the, the water tank, going out to the outdoor unit, and then coming back through and entering the tank. So standard uh, uh, air source heat pump water technology would put that outdoor unit standing on top of this tank. It's a similar system to what we have at the Karuna house. Um, except this is a, it's a smaller system, it's the, 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 the expense is less. This will not do the cooling portion, which the Karuna uh, building has. So that's one of the uh, in-depth shading strategies we used here. We're also in Seattle, we get some nice breezes off the lake. So it's a different cooling needs than the Karuna house. But, so we don't have that capacity, but we don't need it. This unit also uses a CO2, otherwise known as R744 as the uh, refrigerant, well, CO2. It's in the air, it has a global warming potential of one. Most heat pump water heater technologies use uh, uh, two other refrigerants that have refri uh, global warming potentials of nearing 2000. So the chemical utilized, even though it's, we're no longer using the Freon that was damaging the ozone layer, the, the refrigerants used are, have a very tremendously uh, high global warming potential. This one has a global warming potential of one. This also has a uh, significantly higher capacity. Because we're using CO2, the, the machinery can deliver uh, um, energy from the outside air at a lower temperature and take it to a higher temperature. So it's a wider range. So we don't end up needing the electric backup that the, uh, the, the Althurma needs. So we have this uh, wonderfully efficient tank. It's going to deliver the space heating for the building. It's also going to deliver the domestic hot water for the building at a really high performance level and uh, purely from the air outside. So it's going to take heat, even when it's negative five degrees, this unit has been demonstrated to take a significant amount of uh, energy out of the air and put it into the water. So we'll be able to use it all year long here in Seattle where we just do not get below zero degrees. Um, and, uh, and be able to power the domestic hot water needs. Now there is one element, uh, this, this house is sizable enough. We have four, bed, four bathrooms, we have a kitchen. So this is stretching the limit of the capacity of this. And there's also, uh, it is new technology. So if we ever needed to have a backup system, we have an on-demand, similar to a, uh, a on-demand system for a solar thermal or solar hot water system. So this is an on-demand backup if we ever needed some additional support that this could, can provide.